All right, so do you get sick in boot camp? So when you are living in a compartment, which is another word for basically a big room, giant room, uh, and you live with right about 100 people. So if you are male, uh, you can expect right about 100 people in your compartment. If you're female, I would say expect less than 100 people because there's more males joined than females. So uh, you might have the best immune system, right? I, you know, I thought I had a pretty good immune system, but when I went to boot camp, you know, I got sick. It's not because my immune system, because, you know, other people uh, without a good immune system, they get sick very easily and they kind of spread it from their, from their neighbor to neighbor and it just kind of spreads around uh, and meets its way to you. So when you go to boot camp, there's a good chance that you're going to be sick in one way or another, right? You might not realize it like I did at first. I didn't realize it. When I was in boot camp, uh, you know, there was a day that I woke up and I couldn't breathe out of my nose, right? So I was like, man, what's going on? So I went to the bathroom and I blew my nose and uh, like giant, like size of a dime, like a chunk of hardened snot. I blew it out, both my nose. I was like, man, holy crap, that's huge. Like, what's going on? And I, that was like, I thought, all right that's just one day thing right but no it just kept going on like for multiple days in a row so I went to medical uh, medic going to medical you know you go to the yeoman you sign out they give you like a little paper and then you have to make sure you have that piece of paper and then you uh, walk to medical and then you sit down and there's an HM Corman and then he checks you out he or she checks you out and there's like a big uh, what what looks like a vending machine of medicine like anything you could possibly get sick of in boot camp so they just type it in their system and the vending machine there's like a machine there's an arm that goes and then grabs that medicine comes back down and then gives it to them which kind of seems unnecessarily unnecessary uh but i guess for protection of people trying to steal some or abuse some medication uh, i guess they would need that uh but anyway i took that and just like, boom went away right so uh, there were people, friends of mine, that got pink eye, uh, navel infection, and like a bunch of other, you know, sicknesses that I can't eat. I, I don't even know the word for. Uh, so, one one benefit, however, you know, I didn't get it, but you could either be SIQ or LLD. SIQ is sick in quarters where you stay in bed all day for multiple days in a row, depending on how severe your sickness is and how many days the uh, corpsman suggested that you be in, in bed and also if you are LLD uh, you are light limited duty so you don't participate in uh, physical activities or you kind of you're only able to stand for you know 10 minutes at a time and then you sit down so it just gives your body more time to rest so some people do abuse that um, but uh, sick in quarters SIQ that's one of the good ones sometimes uh, depending on what day of activity like if it's a boring day you know you could just kind of stay in bed all day and just sleep uh because when you are in boot camp that definitely uh, you don't get enough sleep for the amount of activities and exercises that you do so uh when you are when you go to boot camp you know do you do you get sick in boot camp i would say expect to get sick in one way or another all right, some people, okay, some people that I know, friends of mine, they did get lucky and they got away without being sick. Uh, but for the most part, most people got sick. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great Navy Day in the sun.